now. It's that time of the week when we look at the latest business and management book titles with our friends from BookBuzz. Ron Emick, co-founder of BookBuzz, is with me in studio and this week's title is Business Networking and Sex. It's not what you think. And that is the actual name of the book and it's by Ivan Misner, Frank DeRaphael and Hazel Walker. Ron, what on earth is this book about and what a great title. Good morning, Ian. Yes, uh, so, uh, and I know you're going to get concerned because I'm going to ask you loads and loads of questions about your, uh, your sex life. This is not about sex. This is about uh, this is about gender. This is about uh, the male perspective and the female p- perspective, and about networking. And there's some really interesting uh, statistics. For forty percent of businesses count on about eighty percent of their sales on referrals. Uh, so networking is essential for uh, for businesses. And then, uh, so do you think males are better at ne- networking or females? I would say males. Wrong, Ian. Females. And it's fascinating because uh, we just launched an initiative with Small Business Can, which is called Business Women Can. So we're starting to study uh, female business, female led businesses. And women are just better entrepreneurs. They're better at education. They're starting to take over in the workplace. And the last thing we thought we had, which was networking, the old boys club, etc. Gone as well. And it's about and the thing to realize is there's 50 percent of your market is female. If you're a male and uh, the other way, 50 percent of your market is males. And we approach things completely differently. And I think at its base, how many times do you think males think about sex? Uh, Quite a lot. Apparently, which I find astonishing, every five seconds. (laughs) <laughs> now I've been trying, so I've been monitoring my own thought process. That does no, that couldn't be correct, but uh, so and that drives everything we do, and it goes back to uh, social biology and evolution. And males are just geared towards uh, pre. What's the night word? Sex. I mean, there's no <laughs> other word for it, and that's what we do, and that's the way we are uh, trained. And there's a book that's what came out about ten years, which was uh, why men don't talk. And female can't read maps, and it's it's that type of book. This book, uh, this is, book is based on a survey of about twelve thousand people, and right, how yes. and I mean some of the findings of it are very very interesting. As you said, you gave out the good example there a moment ago. Tell us some more stories in the book. Um, it's in, it's in, so uh, they uh, if you if you take the males complain about uh, women networking that they they feel that women don't take networking uh, serious. Females think that networking is too uh, salesy, and it just shows you the different perspectives between male and uh, and uh, and female. That they also uh, males would be much more transactional. Females would be much more about building uh, relationships, and actually, it goes back to uh, to dating. You don't try to get into the sack at the first date. You have to build a relationship before you get to that uh, state, and networking is, is exactly uh, exactly like that. This book's a kind of a, I suppose, a, a business version of men are f- uh, women are from Venus and men are from Mars. Exactly. Yes, that's what it's. Uh, that's exactly what it's about. It's like things like uh, dress code. You need to be careful how you dress. That goes for males as well as for uh, females, and females would now. I need to be careful because this is but this Very is in careful. The, this is in the book so uh, it's not me uh, saying this uh, women would remember how you dress women would know after a networking session how ev- all the other females in the room have uh, dressed but they also watch you being dressed they watch your shoes so dress code becomes important for males because they are easily distracted, just keep it uh, very that way. careful. Yes, they all, women need to be need to watch how they dress uh, as well, and the uh, the conundrum is the name tag, because where is the name tag uh, placed? And for males, it is very difficult not to uh, Look. watch. Yes, and then uh, rather than watching them uh, in the face, you're watching other things. And for males, that's sometimes very very uncomfortable, and that's being addressed in the book. Very uh, briefly, well. who's this book for? Big corporates trying to sell to mass mass market, or for everybody? No, I think for everybody. It, because it really is, it's the its the business version of men are from uh, Mars and women are from Venus. Yeah, and what a great title like that. I'm sure it's going to sell well. Ron, Ron Imink, co-founder of BookBuzz, thank you very much for coming in. This week's book was Business Networking and Sex by Ivan Misner, Frank DeRaphael and Hazel Walker. Ron, thank you very much for You're guiding us welcome. through that this morning. Now, up next, we're going to be finding out what you can expect from 4G mobile phones.